I'm Haley, this is Noodle, and welcome to our channel. I am a life coach and I'm also a dog mom, a proud dog mom. I really wanted to start this channel to help better educate people on how to be a responsible dog owner. There's a lot of mindset work that goes into owning a dog and that's what this channel is going to be mainly about. It's not only going to help you become a better dog owner and a more responsible dog owner, but it's also going to help with yourself and your own mindset. So owning a dog is more than just taking care of this animal. Like there's a lot that we deal with as a dog owner in our mind. These patterns that we come across with our dogs are also showing up in other aspects of our lives, whether we choose to acknowledge it or not. Mindset work, like thinking something is never going to change, just kind of saying like, oh, they're a dog, that's the way they are. You know, that's one mindset. Another mindset would be, if I put energy into my dog, then they will have change. When you say like they're just a dog and they're not going to change, that's dismissing your responsibility behind the dog. You're not giving that dog a chance. When you're able to shift your mindset to this dog has potential and really seeing the full value of your dog, investing your time into your dog by teaching them a few tricks and basic obedience. That is really the important part about owning a dog is really fulfilling that need that dogs have to perform and impress you as the owner. So this channel, you can expect to be learning ways to better yourself and educate yourself as a dog owner, and also the tools of mindset work that you can practice in your everyday life outside of owning a dog. I've always had a huge passion for helping other people. It first started with helping people while they went away on vacation, I would help watch their dog. So I started dog sitting. I learned so much from dog sitting. And honestly, what drove me out of dog sitting was bad behaved dogs. And it was really frustrating to watch these dogs because I couldn't do anything about it. You know, I'd stay with these dogs for a week, maybe two weeks at most. And even if I would provide them structure, it wouldn't last because it was really up to the owner to do these things. And you know, there was a lot of overfeeding, underfeeding, free feeding, and also neglect of nail trimming, uh, neglect of training and crate training. And there's just so much more. It was really hard for me to watch a dog that wasn't well behaved. It made my job a lot harder. And I felt bad for the dog and I realized it's not the dog's fault. It's the owner's fault. That's kind of why I have so much passion behind really helping dogs out because they can't speak, they can't express their needs. And it's up to us to educate ourselves on what dogs need, how to take care of them because they are not human. So we have to learn a lot about this species that has become our best friend and they deserve the best, which is why it is our responsibility to give them the best. I promised myself when I'd get a dog, I would do everything in my power to do it right. And in 2018, I got Noodle. And ever since then, it's been a beautiful journey, a beautiful learning experience. I learned so much throughout my journey with Noodle and he's only three years old and I know we have a lot more to learn. I think one of the most important things along our journey was I was always educating myself about how to better myself as a dog owner, which meant learning how he thinks, learning the body language, learning more about this species that is not human, and also providing structure in areas that he needs it in his life. I think it's important to mention that I am not a trainer. I'm just a responsible dog owner. I've done my work with my dog and it may seem like I'm a trainer because I train my dog myself. I have used trainers before, I have hired them. I think they are great training tools. They help teach you the tools you need in order to be successful with you and your dog's relationship. The trainers are a short-term thing to teach you for that long-term thing. It's not a quick fix hiring a trainer. So 
although it may seem like I know a lot about training, training tools, it's because I've invested my time into learning those things. And you can do the same thing. And I hope that, you know, I'm able to share with you everything that I know, but just know that I'm not a professional trainer. I'm just a responsible dog owner. If you're open to becoming a more responsible dog owner and learning a little bit about personal development for yourself along the way, subscribe to my channel.